Yes, guys, what's happening? So today I'm at the Adidas headquarters in Germany and I'm going to be giving you a tour of this place. But more importantly, I'm going up head to head against a robot kicking machine that tests the boots and the balls, specifically the World Cup ball that I'm going to be showing you right now. Let's go. <laughs> it's the most high-tech ball we ever built. It's a brand new claw. It's a brand new 20-panel panel shape. It's also engineered for speed. So the robot has got a left foot, and so is this machine. So guys, this is a special moment. I've been invited into the Adidas Archive Lab. Now there's 40,000 Adidas items in here, dating back from the very beginning. When you go in, you have to wear gloves to make sure everything's protected. Um, not many people get to go inside this archive lab, so I cannot wait to go in and check out the items. Let's do it. 1982. First one, you can really hear it appreciate it, how much it's spreading down. But oh. this is the very, very first one. So that's the bits inside that have just... Yeah, it just crumbled. You can see we have 18.3 degrees. We always have it at 18, 18.5, because this is the way that we preserve product, because you can only preserve products that long before they start to break down. Everything is still here on the boat. And what's very important to us is we get them almost as much ruined as they can. Same with the boots, we yeah. want to get them with the dirt. Yeah, 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 this ball, the Jabulani, was really good for the knuckle ball technique is famous for that, right? If you count the stripes here, there's a hidden meaning. Just go up and count one. So you will see then 11 stripes for each player. So that's the hidden... 9, 10, 11. This ball, for me, I performed at the Brandenburg Gates in Germany at the World Cup final and there was like 300,000 people at the fan fest and I used this ball. This, this ball was really good to freestyle with. It has to be soft, comfortable, cushioned and this was uh, this brings my so much. It's the first coloured World Cup ball. Yeah. And you can see it takes so much inspiration from France. You have yeah, the France yeah, yeah. Uh, rooster here. Yeah. It takes inspiration from the treadmills, the train line, and obviously the color. So guys, if you had one choice, you could only choose one of these World Cup balls, which one would you choose? Put it in the comment section below. I think I'm going with the Telstar. So this is how we store apparel in the archive, and of course, a lot of football jerseys, and a fan favorite one is here. And we store everything in really like protective material for color migration. A US kit. Yeah, this beauty is from 1994. Oh, yes. So from 2010. This is from when the Spanish team just won the World Cup, signed by the entire winning squad. <laughs> <laughs> this archive is... <laughs> this is um, a lot of the, the same Tottenham vibes. The old Tottenham kit is very... No, no, no. Tottenham's the same vibes as Real Madrid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is Messi's. Messi's nemesis from his last season at Barcelona. He's worn these? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I smelt Messi's boots. Not many people can say that. Oh wow. So yeah. this is Hamas' boot that he won for winning the Golden Ball at the 2014 World Cup. These are very, very rare. We're talking about under 10 pairs of these made in the world. I've got a good boot collection, but I definitely haven't got these. <laughs> I found a pair. David Beckham, Predators 2006, signed and worn. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. They are a proper pair of boots. Got his kids' names at the side, look, Brooklyn Romeo Cruz. Signature on the tongue. On the heel as well. Yeah. Oh, these are, these are, are worn. Very customized. Yeah, he, yeah. These are worn. Is that Paul Gascoigne? Oh, he signed it as well. I've got these boots. Gaza was my hero growing up. One of my first proper pair of boots, this one. Guys, this place is incredible. It's over 40,000 items in the archives and uh, we're gonna explore them. If this video does 40,000 likes, we'll come back here and explore the archives. Dig deep and see what's in it because there's some pretty cool stuff and don't wanna miss it. Inside here is the World Cup ball. You're going to get the first look to it. It's just been released today to the media. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm gonna have a look now. Oh, I'm not very good at doing this. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. 
look at that. That is the official World Cup for 2022. That looks pretty amazing. Panels are totally unique. I haven't seen a ball with this panels before. We're about to get an insight very soon about how this ball was made, what's special about it, and I'm told that this ball is actually the best football that has ever been made. I'm gonna tell you why very, very soon and testing it. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. It's the most high-tech ball we ever built. So everything about this is re-engineered. It's a brand new core that makes the ball faster. It's a brand new 20 panel panel shape. It's also engineered for speed. So everywhere you see these panels working together, it's designed to make the ball fly faster, fly more stable, and also be more accurate. Also, you see these dimples that are on here, like on a golf ball, that also aid with the stability in flight. So it controls the air that moves around the ball. But we're in the lab and you get to see the machine that does a lot of that testing for us. This will test the ball. Exactly, so this is our robo leg that tests the ball for us and then tests its accuracy of shots on goal. So that's gonna be the, the Robo's foot that... Exactly, so that's the um, Predator 22, Predator Edge. Oh, that is amazing, that's quality. Exactly the same place as before, top bins. When you're testing this, are you seeing where the ball goes every single time? So we test with the leg, it means that it shoots exactly the same way every single time. And then we can see how accurate the ball goes exactly where we want to put it. And what we've really seen then is from, you know, from a ball from 18 being this much accuracy to the 22 ball being this much accuracy. So it should be enabling more goals in the World Cup, faster gameplay, and just a better experience for having all around. But pro players love it so far. All the testing's gone really well. and. I mean, you just seeing how well the ball goes, top yeah. ends every time. I think that some people would think that the, when you see a new ball, the first thing you look at is the designs, the colours, right? And um, it's so good to get an insight into, like you say, four years of testing, building this product up, and the technology that goes into it to make the pros play to the best of their ability. Right, so I think I'm going to get my boots on and put this ball to the test. I cannot wait. Um, I obviously ain't got any excuses anymore because um, the ball's absolutely perfect, but <laughs> I'll find one or two if I miss the target. <laughs> so guys, this is me versus the Adidas robot boot for the top bins battle. It is on, let's get this going. So this is the five ball test, five balls from the Adidas robot leg to see where they go in the goal. Let's test this ball's consistency, let's go. Let's see if this goes into the same place because that was pretty much exactly the same. Oh, the consistency's a joke. I don't think I can compete with this. <laughs> I can't compete with this machine. So the robot has got a left foot and so has this machine. <laughs> It's a decent ball. <laughs> so that's it, I've put the ball to the test. Um, really good to strike, love striking this ball. Uh, for the width, for the power, was really good to get it up and down over the wall. Um, I went against the Adidas robot machine, which to be fair, come on, it's a machine. It's incredible, the thing's so consistent. Just swings around, you can adapt the power, you can adapt the, the type of strike you do, and that's how they tested this ball. Um, I think I lost against the machine, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me. Um, what fun though, would you guys like to do this? If you would, put it in the comment section below. Maybe one day I'll be able to bring one of you guys to the Adidas headquarters. So guys, it's such a big complex. They have these Adidas bikes here that you can just jump on at any time and travel from building to building. As you can see, Sam's trying to do bunny hop. <laughs> oh, I didn't try that. Little bunny hop. No. So if I was based on this campus, this is where I'd be spending most of my time on the sun lounging. Into a swimming pool. I want a bit of football on the telly. What about Endo? What's that? 
I don't want to make the step to a pro because it's too much travelling. So Adidas have got their own stadium, their own pitch inside the complex. Um, a lot of teams come here, like uh, I think Arsenal come in here and Manchester United. They'll do some training on the pitch here. I win graph. <laughs> so guys, that's the end of an incredible day here at the Adidas headquarters. I hope you've enjoyed the content. And to round it off, the Adidas UK team have brought me these boots as a gift, signed by my favorite player, Yun Min Song. Absolute legend. Big up Adidas UK for the gift. Now I can't wait to take this ball on the road and film with some top Adi ballers. Stay tuned for the content, it's coming soon. Love, peace and tech.